Welcome to Shanti Peace for Mathematics. In my previous videos, we have learned about analytic functions. So, analytic functions are also known as holomorphic function, or it's also known as regular function. So, these are the commonly used words in the literature. The analytic function is also known as holomorphic functions or regular functions. So by definition, what is analytic function is at point z0, the function, if you want to say it is analytic, then there exists some neighborhood of this point z0. In that neighborhood, the function should be differentiable. So this analyticity is much stronger than differentiability because we are not talking about the differentiability at one point. We are talking here differentiability in the entire neighborhood of z0. And we have solved certain problems related to analytic functions and all sort of things we have discussed in the previous lecture. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the harmonic functions. This function plays an important role in many engineering problems where the solutions of Laplace equation is involved in our analysis. So what is the Laplace equation? that you have know that is uxx plus uyy equal to zero and problems of arising of engineering mathematics these functions are popular in name of potential functions there is a branch of actually in mathematics called the harmonic analysis and nowadays this harmonic analysis is very well known topic for doing the research and all the theory of harmonic analysis is come from this idea that is what is the solution of Laplace equations involves the Fourier series and all sort of thing this harmonic functions are play a very important role in engineering mathematics and engineering problem if I can say in vast situation so what is the definition of harmonic functions let us call it, let us talk about that so if you have a function h which is a function of x and y and it is a real valued function if you want to say this h function is a harmonic in the given domain in xy plane it has to be a continuous partial derivatives of first order and second order this function h has continuous partial derivative of first and second order and they satisfy the partial differential equation that is hxx plus hyy equal to 0. So that is the definition of harmonic function. It tells you that the harmonic functions are real valued two variable functions defined in xy plane and if you want to say it is the defined over the domain of xy plane and if h is having the continuous first order partial derivatives first and second order partial derivatives and if satisfying the Laplace equation that is xx plus hyy equal to 0 and this equation is known as a Laplace equation that you know probably <coughs> for example let us consider the an example suppose I have t of xy it is actually known as a temperature function when you are dealing with the heat problem and this is known as a temperature function as e power minus y sin x. Now you just take the first order partial derivative and these functions are defined over the strip x is between 0 to pi and y is positive. That means it is defined over the strip. This is x is equal to 0 and this is x is equal to pi and y is positive. So that means it is defined over the strip. So you can have tx that is the first order partial derivative of this function that is e raised to minus y cos x dy that is minus of e raised to minus y sin x txx that you can have e power minus y and derivative of cos x will be minus so it is minus sin x tyy will be e power minus y sin x because derivative of e power minus y is again minus come out and t of xy will be e power 
minus y that is a derivative of this with respect to y that is minus has come out from there and t of y x will be e power minus y cos x. So, that tells you that the first order partial derivatives are continuous both of them and second order partial derivatives are also continuous because they involve the trigonometric functions sine and cos and exponential function and you just note that t of xx plus t of yy will be 0. So, that means we can say that this t is harmonic function in its domain obviously. Let us have the another example. Let us consider f of xy is 3x square y minus y cube plus 4. Check whether this function is harmonic or not. So, for that you need to calculate what is fx. fx you will have it is 6xy fy you will have 3x square minus 3y square fxx you will have it is 6y fyy you will have minus 6y fxy you will have the derivative of this with respect to y that is 6x and fyx is also 6x. So, therefore, what we can say this fx, fy, fxx, fyy, fxy, fyx all of them are continuous. So, its first order partial derivatives are continuous and second order partial derivatives are continuous plus fxx plus fyy is 0. So, hence we can say that this f is harmonic function for all xy. This is the harmonic function we can say. Now, the question is what should be the relation between the analytic function and the harmonic function. So, if you have f which is the of the form u plus iv and if it is analytic, how this harmonic functions are correlate with the analytic function. So, that we can note that as a theorem if you have f which is of the form u plus iv is analytic in the domain d then both u and v are harmonic functions that can be proved in very quickly because it's very straightforward it's given that f is equal to u plus iv is analytic on d so therefore what we can say it's first order partial derivatives that is first order partial derivatives u x u i v x v y are continuous and they satisfy the CR equation that is ux is equal to vy and ui is equal to minus vx. If you differentiate this with respect to x, you will have uxx is equal to vyx and uyx equal to minus of vxx. So, differentiating with respect to x, we have this and differentiating obviously partially. Here is also partial differentiation, differentiating, partially differentiating with respect to y we got or we obtained u x y is v y y and u y y is minus v x y. So, for them what we can say is u x x plus u y y due to this equation and this equation will gives you this that is v y x minus v x y, but v y x is same as v x y because this v x and v y are continuous and if you can see or recall your advanced calculus course where we have a first order partial derivatives are continuous then u v y x and v x y are 0. Also we can have v x x plus v y y from this you will have vxx is minus of yx and from this you will have vyy so it is minus of and plus uxy in the same argument we can say it is zero because uxy and uyx both of them are equal so that's prove that u and v are satisfying the laplace equation and you know that the first order sector and second order partial derivatives are already continuous. So, therefore, what we can say u and v 
are harmonic in D. So that's complete the proof of this result, which says that if you have the function which is analytic, then its real part and imaginary part are harmonic functions. For example, if you have this is a temperature function or the temperature function is actually a real part of function f of z equal to e power minus y sin x minus i e power minus y cos x. This function is entire function and the real component for that function that is temperature function we can have e power minus y sin x that we have in this lecture we have discussed that it is a harmonic function. So without calculating it if this function is analytic in whatever the domain it will have we can say that its real component is harmonic and imaginary component is harmonic. For example let's have the another example f of z is equal to i upon z square is analytic whenever z is not equal to 0 and since the real component of this that we can calculate it by multiplying and divided by z bar here z bar square here so we'll have z bar square upon mode of z square full square so that i can write as z bar square upon mode of z power 4 and that I can write as i into x minus i y square upon square plus y square power 2. And this I can write as x square minus y square because this is x square plus i square y. So it is minus i square minus 2 i x y upon x square plus y square whole square that can be rewrite as i x square minus y square and this i is multiplied to this i so it will become plus because it is i square so it will become plus 2 x y upon x square plus y square so from this what we can say due to this is analytic function everywhere except z is not equal to 0 we can say that u of x y is 2xy upon x square plus y square whole square is harmonic also v of xy that is x square minus y square upon x square plus y square whole square is harmonic function where the z is not zero that is xy is not zero so without calculating it we can say this is the argument that the real part and imaginary parts are solution of some partial differential equation that is the harmonic Laplace equation. Now the next definition is a very important definition. It's called the harmonic conjugate. If you have given a two function, two given function of a real variable that is u and v are harmonic in a domain D and their first order partial derivatives are satisfies TR equations that is ux is equal to vy and uy equal to minus vx on D. Then v is said to be harmonic conjugate of u see here the conjugate of a z bar is different term okay because z bar we know that it is z bar we know that it is x minus i y if you have z which is x plus i y but this harmonic conjugate is a different than the original conjugate is defined so it is known as a harmonic conjugate so what is the definition of harmonic conjugate it says that the first order partial derivatives are satisfying the cr equation and the condition is this u and v should be harmonic functions then v is known as a harmonic conjugate of u now the question is what should be the relation between this harmonic conjugate and the analytic function so the next is a theorem and it is very trivial to visualize that if f is u plus iv is analytic in a domain d if and only if v is harmonic conjugate of u that is easily seen or proof for this suppose that f is analytic in a domain d then just we have proved that if f is analytic and it is of the form u plus iv then u and v are harmonic and if it is harmonic that we have proved in the previous theorem also 
since it is analytic it satisfying the cr equations also ux equal to vy and uy equal to minus v. so we say that v is harmonic conjugate of u and conversely suppose that v is harmonic conjugate of u then what is the definition of harmonic conjugate says that u and v both of them are harmonic functions since they are harmonic functions its first order partial derivatives are continuous and the another condition is they satisfy the cr equation so it will satisfy the both the condition of the analyticity that is the first order partial derivatives are exist and they are continuous and then second condition is cr equation is satisfied therefore f is analytic so that's the converse part we have so let us write down conversely suppose v is harmonic conjugate of u therefore vx vy ux and uy are continuous only and ux is equal to vy and uy equal to minus vx so therefore f is analytic only and that's proves the theorem that if f is analytic if and only if v is harmonic conjugate of u see this example the following example tells you that if v is harmonic conjugate of u in some domain it is not in general we can say that u is harmonic conjugate of v so if you have this example as u of xy is x square minus y square and v of xy if i consider as 2xy then we can say that v is harmonic conjugate of u because f of z is u plus iv which is nothing but the x square minus y square plus 2ixy and this is nothing but the z square that you can check we can say that v is harmonic conjugate of u because this function f which is a z square is a polynomial so it is analytic so we can say that here v is harmonic conjugate of u but if i define a some function g of z as v plus i u that is 2xy plus i x square minus y this function is not analytic because you just see that if i consider as the real part of this function as capital u and capital v then you will have ux is 2y uy is 2x vx is 2x and vy is minus 2y you just compare that ux is 2y which is not equal to vy by cr equations this has to be equal which is not there so therefore g is not analytic since g is not analytic we can say that u is not harmonic conjugate of v so that tells you that v is harmonic conjugate of u but in general we cannot say that u is harmonic conjugate of now we'll have very interesting problem which involves this analytic functions the problem is find analytic function whose real part is u of xy equal to 2xy plus so the question is to find out what is the imaginary part of this function that means we need to find out the harmonic conjugate of the given function u so here ux is this and if you consider your function f which is of the form u plus iv and given that this function is analytic so i need to it has to be satisfy cr equation so let's calculate what is ux that is uy plus 2 what is uy will be 2x and uxx will be 0 uyy is also 0 so that will imply is uxx plus uyy is zero that means this u is harmonic function because the first order partial derivative second order partial derivatives are continuous it is harmonic function and ux you know it is vy and uy is minus vx so due to that we can have vy is due to ux is 2y plus 2 and vx is minus of uy so it is minus 2x the question is to find out what is the value of v if you have v you can calculate what is f 
So you can take any one of this equation. So I am just starting with Vy is equal to 2y plus 2. So it is derivative of V with respect to Y is there. I want V from it. Obvious question is what to do with deal with the obvious solution for that is integrate both side by Y with respect to Y. What we get? We get V of XY which is a function of two variable actually keeping your x constant that is the derivative of this 2y you know it is y square by 2 and the derivative of 2 which is a constant as 2y and since we have keep your x constant plus c constant will be there but that constant may involve the function of x so that's why i'm just denoting as phi of x where this phi is arbitrary function of x that we can have so therefore if i partially differentiate this equation with respect to x we'll have vx will be phi dash of x because we are differentiating with respect to x this is the derivative of this one is zero this one is zero and what is vx is given to us is this minus 2x so finally what we'll have is phi dash of x will have minus 2x and if you want phi from it then we'll have phi of x will have by integrating this it is minus x square by 2 plus some constant c is there where c is the real constant and so we'll have phi of x is minus x square plus c where c is a real constant so finally from this what we have v of xy is y square plus 2y plus phi of x phi of x is minus x square minus x square plus c that is your function v that we need to calculate so therefore what is your f of x z which is u plus iv the function u is given as 2xy plus 2x plus i v is this y square plus 2y minus x square plus c let's solve the another one one of the example so find the harmonic conjugate of u of xy is equal to y cube minus 3x square y so again we need to check whether this function is harmonic or not if it is harmonic then we can then and only then we can calculate its harmonic conjugate so what is u x is minus 6xy and ui you will have it is 3y square minus 3x square uxx you will have minus 6y and uyy is plus so therefore uxx plus uyy is 0 and the first order partial derivatives and second order partial derivatives are actually a function of x and y and they are the polynomial in terms of x and y so therefore what we can say is u is harmonic now since which is harmonic it has to be satisfied cr equation due to the definition of harmonic conjugate so that means ux is equal to vy and uy is equal to minus vx that will gives you ui is minus 6xy and vx is minus of 3y square minus 3x square now we can take any one of this equation if you're taking this equation then you have to integrate with respect to y if you are taking this equation then you have to integrate with respect to x and i'm taking this equation the integrating with respect to y we get v of xy is equal to minus 6 x y square by 2 plus some constant is there but we are integrating with respect to y keeping your x constant so that's why here x is constant and plus phi of x you will have where phi is an arbitrary function function of x since uh, here phi is unknown so we need to calculate that further so partially differentiate with respect to x will give you vx is equal to minus 3y cube y square is here minus 3y square will have plus phi dash of x since vx due to this you will have 3y square minus 3y square plus 3x square equal to minus 3y square plus phi dash of x and you just see that minus 3y square will cancel out both sides so it is phi dash of x is 3x square 
and so we'll have phi of x by integrating both sides we'll have it is 3x cubed by 3 plus some constant where c is a constant so therefore we'll have x cubed plus 3 c and hence the harmonic conjugate v of x y you will have due to this will have minus 3xy square plus x cubed plus finally what is your f of z which is you will have y cube minus 3x square y plus i x cube minus 3xy square plus some constant is there so it is plus i c put z is equal to x plus i y and z bar will be x minus i y so x you will have z plus z bar by 2 and y you will have z minus z bar by 2 if you can substitute this x and y into this equation then you will have expression in terms of z so f of z in terms of you convert them then you will have it is i z cube plus c that you can calculate verify and if you want to check whether your answer is correct or not then you just substitute y equal to 0 into this equation then your equation is f of x because this z is x plus i y where i am putting y equal to 0 here and so this is 0 this will also 0 and you will have equal to minus x cube plus c and which is exactly the same as this that means our answer is correct so that way you can verify your answer is correct or not now the next example that I'm taking in terms of polar coordinate suppose u of r theta is given as e power minus theta cos ln of r where r is positive and theta is between 0 to 2 pi is harmonic is given the question is find harmonic conjugate of u of r theta and corresponding analytic functions so the first thing you should know that the laplace equation in polar coordinates is r square u r r plus r u r plus u theta theta equal to zero here they have given it as harmonic if it is not given it as harmonic then you have to check verify by this equation so finding its partial derivatives and then you have to verify whether this is equation is satisfied or not so here u of r theta is given as a harmonic function so we are not dealing with that equation but the given is this and we need to calculate what is the harmonic conjugate of this function so for that i need u r which is e power minus theta and derivative of this quantity is sin ln r minus and the derivative of ln r is 1 upon r and u theta is minus of e power minus theta cos ln r the cr equation in polar coordinates r u r is equal to 1 by r v theta and v r is equal to 1 by minus 1 by r u theta so finally what you will have u theta v theta equal to r into u r and v r is this minus 1 upon r u theta just now we have calculated u r is minus 1 upon r e power minus theta sin ln r so that's why this will give you minus e power minus theta sin ln r this is u theta integrating partially with respect to theta keeping r constant we obtain v of r theta as so we are integrating with respect to theta integration of e power minus i theta is will gives you plus here sin ln r plus some constant that constant is actually a function of r so where f f is already used so i am just writing phi so phi is arbitrary function of r now partially differentiate this with respect to r so we will have vr is equal to e power minus theta the derivative of cos sine is cos so it is ln r and the derivative of ln r is 1 by r plus phi dash of r and 
from this we can have the value of vr value of vr is minus 1 upon r u theta and what is u theta we have calculated is this so we'll have this side is 1 upon r e power minus theta cos ln r equal to 1 upon r e power minus theta cos ln r plus phi dash of r and you just notice that this quantity is, is cancelled out so that will give you phi dash of r is 0 but phi dash of r is 0 means phi of r is constant so finally you have v of r theta is due to this equation it is e power minus theta sine ln r plus this is constant so it is c so finally the function you will have it is e power minus theta cos ln r plus i e power minus theta sin ln r plus i c and that completes the solution for this example i am giving you some example as an exercise that is homework so first find the harmonic conjugate of following function when u of x y is 2x into 1 minus y u of x y is sine hyperbolic of x into sine y so solve these two examples yourself and find out what are the harmonic conjugate of this so with this let us recall what we discussed in this lecture we have discussed about the harmonic the harmonic are the real variable function whose first order and second order partial derivatives are continuous and they satisfies the laplace equation we have seen that if the function f is analytic which is of the form u plus iv if and only if its real part that is u and v both of them are harmonic functions also we have seen the definition of harmonic conjugate we can say that v is harmonic conjugate of u if u and v are harmonic and they satisfies the cr equations so we note that the if f is analytic then if and only if v is harmonic conjugate of u but we can't say that u is harmonic conjugate of v if we can try to say that then the function has to be constant function that i am giving you also an as exercise to do it and we have sol solved some examples to find out the harmonic conjugate of the real part is given to you you have to calculate what is the imaginary part of the function with that i am stopping here if you like this video please press the like button if you have any question comments or suggestion please write down in a comment box below see you in next video till then bye bye sayonara